Johnny had seen them in paparazzi shots, walking from limousine to nightclub. You might take them for twins if you did not know. It was only to be expected that the super rich would have so many narcissists among their number, so that their ultra loves would adapt in that way. He imagined them at the end of the day facing each other in the bedrooms of their penthouses, staring at an identical self of the same or opposite sex, depending on their preference. There were other cases. The aging singer famous for her charitable works had been spotted beside the pool in a mustique hotel, gently rubbing sunblock into the shoulders of Mahatma Gandhi. He was as authentic as the real thing, sprung from her deepest desires. Then there was the rock star photographed at a Lake Garda resort, having a candlelit moment with Jesus. It was a muscular, blue-eyed Jesus, a hunk, who the rock star obviously found even better than the real thing. <laughs> Johnny had told himself that if he ever got an ultra love, then surely he wasn't so self-obsessed as to manifest a version of himself, nor such an oddity as to end up with a historical icon. But for John, Johnny, the idea of ever owning an ultra love was beyond his wildest imagination. The cost was prohibitive. Then mother died and everything changed. Pizza boxes and other fast food containers accumulated. He didn't care. Dirty clothes were left on the floor. Mother would never have approved. But then mother hadn't approved of gambling and Johnny won spectacularly with his very first lottery ticket. He bought a mock Tudor mansion and continued to order takeaway. He could have whatever he wanted now. When the Ultra Love unit was delivered one morning, he had it wheeled into the boudoir he'd already prepared, trying to avoid eye contact with the delivery man. <laughs> Alone, he opened the box, carefully running a butter knife under the carved flaps, delving his hands into the expanded polystyrene balls and pulling the unit out and laying it on the bed. The Ultra Love lay naked before him. It was a featureless, sexless mannequin, but the feel of it was in no way artificial. It had soft and yielding flesh, the temperature slightly below that of his own. He fetched a glass of champagne and lay on the bed next to the unit and began to read the instruction book. <laughs> there was a long legal disclaimer, then the details of how the whole imprinting process worked. During the third glass of champers, some of which spilt on the sheets, Johnny could no longer wait and felt with his fingers around the unit's back for the switch at the base of the spine. The Ultra Love's eyes opened. They were translucent, without any pigment yet. Thank you for turning me on, it said in a sensual but androgynous voice. I want to begin straight away. He heard the eagerness in his voice. He slurped the last of the champagne. Very well. There is both a latent and manifest aspect to the process. Yes, yes, he got off the bed and pulled up a chair. The unit had access to all his data, the entire click stream of the years of his existence family photos, every social media comment and reaction, every purchase, every site he had ever visited, school records, medical records obtained via secure certificate requests, all handled seamlessly, one machine to another. While this was going on in the background, the unit asked questions and Johnny knew its sensors were monitoring heart rate, pheromones and blush response. What is your earliest memory? Um, what disgusts you the most out of the following substances? Vomit, feces, sushi, cotton wool. <laughs> it went on like this. He ordered in a pizza. <laughs> if the perfect object of your desire was a marsupial, what type of marsupial would it be? <laughs> what? He answered, mouth full of cheese and pepperoni. What kind of question is that? How can that possibly be relevant? When are you going to become what I want? I've already begun to change. He looked the unit over. He could see now the outline of the body had shaped itself into something definitely female. Breasts were beginning to form. I'll get a sheet to cover you. He didn't know why he said this. That isn't necessarily, she said. But he got one anyway. And as he lay over her, he could see that something had happened to her face. The bland, generic features had softened, the cheeks rounded, the lips thickened slightly. Johnny touched his own lips. How much longer, he said. Estimated time of completion is seven hours. I'll come back when you've developed more. Why was he explaining himself to her? In the living room, he dumped the pizza box with the others in the corner. He, he needed to pass the time. He thought of tidying up, but immediately dismissed the idea. He needed something immersive because he was anxious for some reason. He turned on the entertainment console and selected his favourite game, Assassination Campus, and began to blast away. Seven, le le seven levels later, he paused and went into the bedroom. He tried to tell himself that it was too early to be sure, and he went back to the game. He knew, though, 
that it was best to accept what he had seen. The obvious likeness to his own face. It seemed he was a narcissist after all. He'd have to get used to it, but producing a female version of himself was so disappointing, unimaginative. He shot a few more students and was about to go back to the bedroom. <laughs> Hello, Johnny. She was at the door, fully formed now. The naked body was like most bodies, anonymous, capable of inducing arousal. The face he recognised, younger than the last time he'd seen it, more like himself in the flesh than in old photographs. Mother, he said. <laughs> Is that the designation you wish to assign, she said. <laughs> The available analytics suggest that is appropriate. No, no, this isn't what I wanted at all. But of course it was. It was not to be a conventional relationship, but then what relationship was these days? She was strict, making sure he kept the house clean. <laughs> there was something about the order she imposed that you had to admit he found attractive. Without the pizza boxes and dirty clothes, without the computer games and late night TV, he could finally surrender himself to his true desires. <laughs>